So sirens are going off right now again, 30 minutes after they went off. You hear them? 30 minutes after they went off the last time, noon, it's now 12.30. So we're gonna go into the shelter. This is during the day, so I'm giving you a live look. Normally it's um, uh, dark in here because my baby is sleeping in the bomb shelter this year. We just shut the door to the bomb shelter. Um, so that's what we do. And we just wait. I'm with my mother-in-law, father-in-law, and my husband. Um, we're here now. And then when we get in the bomb shelter, which is just a small bedroom, it's just a normal, you know, small bedroom in their apartment, we turn on the, um, the news, which we can do again because it's during the day. Right? Yeah. So the interesting thing, I said this on my story before of what later in the day now, they're actually reaching some places further north and west, like well, Tel Aviv, the airport is obviously out Tel Aviv, which is like frightening because so many people are trying to get out. Jerusalem, which is further west, they were able to hit Jerusalem, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And um, I don't know, you know, we'll see what happens. That means they've got bigger um, rockets, you know, they're able to get further up. Um, Mia's probably ready for a nap right now. Should we? But so that's it. I just wanted if you could hear the sirens earlier. Now we wait in here for a few minutes. When the sirens go off where we are in Rishon, we have like a few minutes to get in. If we live closer to um, Gaza, it, we would have seconds to get in, but we live further north. So we're able to, we have minutes, and, but we still rush in here and then we shut the door and um, wait a few minutes until we can leave again and then until the next siren.